at Gordon's Market. So we're going to see how much value we can get out of 100 gina, which is about 30 US dollars, and see how many kilos of vegetables we can get. So, wish us luck! Let's go! Snake beans, are they? Are they snake beans? Wow, oh, look at this chili. So big. Sugar fruit. Sugar fruit. Like passion fruit, but this sweet one. And these are avocado. Oh, there, then that's okay. Then I come down, we're gonna go up there. Then I'm gonna get some tomatoes. Right, so they don't brew. Oh, look at this beautiful capsicum. Yeah. Alright, Sago and Popo. Wow. shopping at Gordon's Market this morning. I'm very happy to say that we smashed the like button. Oh, no, we smashed our food budget challenge of trying to buy heaps and heaps of veggies for under 100 kina. So the grand total for our shop this morning was 75 kina. So that is about 25 US dollars and we got all of this fruit and vegetables. So we got bananas, five kina, spring onions, one kina, all of this okra, ladyfinger for 
five kina. These massive snake beans. Two kina, two kina. Unbelievable. Four paw, five kina. Onions. All these onions cost us two kina. These nice big organic PNG grown tomatoes, five kina. Avocados, three avocados for ten kina. Bag of garlic, five kina. Two bunches of pak choy for one kina fifty. We got choco. Choco is this funny thing that we've never eaten before, but we got recommended it to us, so we're gonna experiment with that. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six choco for two kina. Next up, we got two bunches of sugar fruit. Now sugar fruit is a little bit like passion fruit, except for it's not as sour and tart. So it's a lot sweeter, that's why it's called sugar fruit. Next up, we got all the eggplants, also known as aubergine. Seven eggplants for five kina. Unbelievable! Oh no, cucumber. Yeah, cucumber was two kina each, so sorry, four kina. Mandarins, where's the mandarins? We spent two kina. Two kina and mandarins. We got lemons. Two, four, six, eight lemons for five kina. It's Perfect beautiful. for gin and tonic. This pineapple was probably the most expensive item that we bought. It was ten kina. Next up is we got two coconuts for one. Six kina, so that's three kina each, and they actually popped it up and cracked open one of them for us so we could drink it. So that's a very nice, refreshing coconut kulau water. So here in Papua New Guinea, they call coconuts kulau. So it's very refreshing. And finally, we got this thing. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> And yeah, our total was 81 kina 50, which is pretty cheap. I'm, I'm pretty amazed at yeah, all... how much we spent for like 75 to 80 kina. Yeah, all vegetable and fruits are very fresh. So pretty much every item here is sourced and grown locally here in Papua New Guinea. Except the garlic. Except the garlic. <laughs> One of our previous videos that we did was a husband shopping challenge. And in that challenge, I ended up buying a lot of vegetables and fruit, but a large portion of that shop was imported fruit and vegetables, which is significantly more expensive. It was about four times more expensive. So you can basically save 75% by shopping locally at the market. Where we went was the Gordon's Market, which is here in Port Moresby, and has recently been opened to the public for about six months now. So it was redeveloped with the assistance of the New Zealand government here in Port Moresby. Okay, so that brings us to the end of another video. So hopefully you enjoyed seeing what Gordon's Market was all about and what the environment is like there, the layout of the market, downstairs and upstairs. Make sure that if you go, um, it's probably safer to go in a group. Nah? Yep. See you next time. Bye. Bye. A passion fruit, except for it's not as sour and tart. So it's a lot sweeter. That's why it's called sugar fruit. <laughs>